Insta chats are so weird now that Instagram did that little update. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. I realize how nasal I sound sometimes. Hello. Courtyard Productions is here. Tire24. Always ask me how I am. Thank you, babe. I'm good. I feel really good. I had a really good day. Blessed Locke says, we love, baby. She Wolf Living says, hey, Jess, so happy to see you. You look amazing as always. Thank you so much. She Wolf Living says, how you feeling, sister? I feel good. I feel really good. It's Monday. I've been doing the most today. That's every day. Nubian Goddess Butte says, I love Monday lives. Me too. Luxurious Mitchell says, hey, best friend. Hey, best friend. Love, Lust, That Sin says, so happy to tune in. Hold on. Missed last week's. Don't worry. I'm actually, I still have last week's saved, and I'm going to upload it. I promise. Degum Brumbit says, hey, lovely. How's your day? Hope you're well. I feel really good. My day's been pretty productive. Um, I've been having fun all day, which is nice. Evie, hi, babe. She says, hello, everyone. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Evie says, my body has been aching. Really? We'll talk about that. Becky DS says, I can't wait for your shop to be restocked. Yeah, I'm working on my next day for the shop re restock. And I don't know, I want to make sure that everyone's here that did for the last order, that they, um, for the last shop update, that they get their orders before Christmas. Because I feel like if people swoop in before Christmas, they're going to automatically expect that orders are going to arrive before that. And I honestly can't promise that. I wish I could, but you have to keep in mind, like, it's such a small company in, in regards, like, in the grand scheme of things. I'm definitely no Amazon or Target. I always say that. So it's so tough for us to, even with my girls, for all of us to, like, pack up. And everything is so special and so unique. And um, it just takes time. It takes some time. Michelle Field 69 says, my back and my shoulders hurt. I can imagine, we'll talk about that. Victoria Valentine 768 says, early tribe in the house, what, what? Okay, um, Kiki Kitten says, I love your name by the way, will you come up to your shop once in a while since you're in New Orleans now? Yes, I am scheduling my next visit up there really soon and I'll put that on my website. Uh, Renee Amethyst says, we have the same pen. My mom got this for me, and I love it. I've been using it to write my intentions with, and obviously to just, you know. Magical Goddess 88 says, I love your shoe and oil. It smells so good. Girl, let me tell you, that is my everything. T Talia says, you're not Amazon or Target yet. Girl, I don't want to be Amazon or Target. Like, I really cannot see myself mass producing. I had some an opportunity earlier this year, 2018, to kind of make on a larger scale. And I knew it, it would just been like dollar signs. And I just was like, nope, that's not what I see for Bahati life. That's not what I want for my life. I am a little bit more of a country girl, I guess, and keeping things on a smaller scale. I do not want people mass producing my, my oils. Nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Okay, so, okay. So, all right, you guys, let's go ahead and talk about this week ahead. I do have the music going in the background. Let's see what it sounds like. Renee Amethyst says she's waiting for, she can't wait for her order, it just ships. Yeah, I got a few emails. I know you guys get a little impatient and I would too. Don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on a player, but I got a few emails and DMs and Facebook messages and Twitter DMs or whatever it's called and Instagram DMs and it's just like, I haven't heard anything, you know, what's going on? Like, you guys have to realize like if I stop working on whatever it is that I'm working now, it slows down everything. So. And I just keep saying, I'm like, you know, when you when you order, just have patience, just have patience. It's not that anyone's ignoring you. It's just that we're focused. We're just trying to get it done. And if we stop to, to take our hands off of it, that is another hour added on to the process. That's another two hours. Those, like, a few seconds makes a huge difference. And it you just wouldn't believe how much it all adds up. So we're just going. We're working. If I, you know, I still want to do Astro Live Chats for you guys. I still want to open up the doors for Sacred Circle Tarot School. So all of those pieces together, you know, it, it just requires a little bit of patience. And if there's no patience involved with it, if you really expect like a, a fast, quick turnover, then I just respectfully ask you to maybe go to Target, you know, or make your own 
um, intention oils, you know, not as a business person, maybe I shouldn't say that, but as a, a person who sets intention and puts, you know, all of my heart and my soul into these things, and I work with my girls one-on-one, -on -one, I don't I don't take shortcuts. I'm a Virgo, I'm a perfectionist, and this is my life, and I just, I'm not, we're not gonna, we do the best that we can, but at the end of the day, that's as good as it can get, and you know, I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud of that, so I'm not gonna compromise on anything. And I know that it's hard sometimes, don't get me wrong, it's hard. Like me waiting for my furniture to come in. <laughs> um, if it's longer than two days, like two days is too long. So it's just the world that we live in. But thank you guys so much. Um, Michelle Field 69 says, I got my oils very quickly. Yeah, some people get them in, bing, bang, boom. So Sun Child the Love Witch says, thank you for your ethics always. That's a non-negotiable with me. Um, Tony Luis says, do you have a video about how you communicate with your guides? I don't know. I, maybe I do. Um, Car Carolyn, Carlin Simone says, um, when does Sacred Circle Tarot School start? Um, this week, probably next week early, but this week I'm finalizing the rest of the classes and getting a nice platform, but enrollment is open for those of you guys that did want to join in and jump in for Sacred Circle. It is going to be ongoing. I still have classes in session with my with my other semesters and we're just moving through the, the tarot together. And for example, we have more videos coming up this uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So if you guys have questions about that, it's pretty much like one-on-one -on -one mentorship. It's a private group. We There's like a support system there. I don't know if we have any Sacred Circle tarot st students here, which we probably, probably do. So yeah, it's just, you know, it's ongoing. It's gonna keep on going. I'm not gonna turn that down. I'm not gonna close that down. It's just available for everyone because it just doesn't make sense for me to close the doors to that when so many people like are asking. When I close the doors, they're like, just let us, when is, when is it gonna come in? When is it gonna open? And it's just like, all right, I'm gonna leave the doors open and let people come in, all right? Tropical Rain 16 says, I'm so excited for class. I don't even like school, girl. When I tell you the only reason why I liked school growing up is because there were some classes that I genuinely enjoyed, which was art and free periods. And I was boy crazy and I always had, I was so excited to go and like hang out with friends. I, outside of learning other things, I really struggled with it unless it was something that I was really truly interested in. For example, religious studies I was really interested in, feminine studies, I was really study, uh, interested in African American studies, I was really interested in, but I didn't get to dive into that as much as I'd like to. But all that being said, when I started studying astrology and tarot, when I tell you I was obsessed, I literally, I feel like I, a broken record, but this is the truth, I literally would study until 3, 4, 5, 6 a.m. in the morning, see the sun coming up, realize that I had to sleep, and the only reason why I slept is because I knew that I would be able to wake up and study again, and as a human being, we need to sleep, we need to eat. So, I mean, when you find something that you love and you are passionate about it and you're like, you becoming devoted and committed to it is like effortless. That's if it's something that you truly love, a commitment to it and, you know, connecting to it and understanding it, the compromise of it, you know, what, did, what do I have to do in order to make this work is what I'll do. Tell me what you need. So that's been my relationship with astrology and tarot you know, from the jump. I mean, I shuffle multiple times a day. So, yeah. Um, Courtyard Production says, what house rules learning? Well, technically, it's the third and the ninth, but it depends on everyone's charts because everyone, you may have, you may have um, a sign that rules that part of the chart, but that's the planet that rules that might fall in a different house or might fall in a different placement. So you'll have, um, you know, your learning might be different or the way that you learn might be different or how you accumulate um, knowledge and gain knowledge is different for everyone. For example, if you look at my chart, so much of my chart is connected to esoteric, the occult. Um, spirituality, mysticism, and technically within my chart, I'm considered the medicine man of the gods, meaning, or medicine man to God, meaning that I study herbs, I study herbalism, I work with herbs, but I work f with it from a mystic, like a mystic's perspective, and study like astrology, that you know, what's going on cosmically, that other realm, 
and that's what is incorporated in my chart. But the way, it, in a nutshell, I'm sorry, like I get so tongue tied because I have like a million thoughts in my head. But um, the other thing is that how I learn and the way that I learn is connected to my sixth house because every day I'm studying, every day I'm learning. So everyone's chart is different, but across the board in general, it's the ninth house, which connects you to your um, connection to higher education, spirituality, um, travel, learning, because it's another thing too, like what is it that you're learning? Are you learning actual research? Are you studying research? That would be the third house matters, or we're top live already, god damn. Um, but are you studying, um, you know, are you doing research or are you learning, you know, different cultures, different experiences? What is it that you're studying? And so it's different for everyone, all right? So I hope that makes sense. Whew. Okay. All right, we have to get focused. I would love to actually, after this, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to do a Q&A. So I'm gonna do a Q&A video for you guys. If not this week, then early next week. And I'm seeing that we have a lot of good questions right now, so go ahead. Hey, Raven, good to see you, girlfriend. So I can see that you guys have a lot of good questions. So what I'll do is after this live chat, I will post up on my story and give you the opportunity to submit any questions and I will answer as many as I can on a Q&A video that I'm going to post on my YouTube channel and I'll probably do it maybe tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh, I updated my, I upgraded my internet. I paid for the fastest internet that I can get. So uploading videos will be a breeze now. I know that I was really struggling with that with my, with my Astro Live Chat and also Sacred Circle Tarot School. Like that was a delay when I came down here. The internet was so slow. So I finally was able, this apartment already has been so lucky for me. So I'm, I've been really stepping my game up with my internet, which means that the videos can upload. Yuki Yuki says, please post this on YouTube. I, can, I can't watch until later. I understand and yes, I will. Maybe I should do the Astro Live thing now. No, 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 I'll do it later. Let me stay focused. All right, so let's go ahead and talk because there are, it's interesting because it almost seems like the chart for this week is a little dormant, but it's not. There's a, it's not. There's still a lot that's going on that's trickling in from last, from last week and last weekend, of course, because the planets are moving so slowly right now. And this is because everything is kind of building up steam and everything is kind of diving deep and everything's kind of like wonky and weird. And like the energy that I got last week was kind of like, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but that's kind of the vibe and the best way that I can describe it. So how are you guys feeling last week? Okay, XI, XI, VI, VI, XI says, you talk so fast, Jess, you have a lot to cover. Or you must have a lot to cover. You no, know, I'm just Mercury ruled. I'm ruled by Mercury. It's the fastest moving planet. <laughs> and it's the planet of communication. And when I'm amped up and when I'm excited, this is just what it's like. My mom always tells me, just slow down. Like, easier said than done, mom. Crank it up. <laughs> like, I want to go fast. <laughs> so that's me. But anyways, how are you guys feeling last week and this week? So realistically... looking at the chart um there's so much and i'm saying this okay quiet storm yeah drained emotional stagnant yeah last week was a week from hell it was wasn't it someone says i've been feeling drained last week for me was chaotic i felt scattered last week yeah hi mommy mommy's here everyone say hi mom acupuncture for your health go ahead and follow her she's amazing she's a shaman and acupuncture doctor um last okay zirka work says last week i felt really great this week I'm slowing down a bit. I wonder what your ascendant sign is because you might have some lingering effects. Last week was emotionally draining, lots of self-evaluation. Everyone's saying the same thing. This pressure is definitely released, no energy, feeling uh, paranoid, feeling like you're drifting, feeling like lost, scattered, emotional, sensitive. Evie says, hi mama. Jenna Lou <laughs> LaGru says, hi mom. Stephanie waves hi. Pamela says, hi mom. Literally, my mom is everyone's mom. She takes on all of my friends, all of my friends. She's just mom and everyone, and my best friend's moms are moms to me. So now you guys, welcome to the family. My mom says, hey, y'all. Um, Hope jo Johnson cause, says, I'm crazy congested. We'll talk about that. Love lost, that sin. Love lost, love lost, 
that's in says you she's been feeling lost yeah so the reason why this is not only are people prone to infection and weird kind of ailments during last week this week this weekend and this the beginning of this week is because we're very susceptible right now to the spreading of things that drain us things that don't make sense things that are hidden things that are you know under the radar um, infection uh, I think I said that already nutritional imbalances there's a lot of that going on and this is and at the same time I said last week to you guys please don't force it please don't push it um, because this is just physical we're talking about physical please don't push it because the planets there the Sun does is so restless right now the Sun is in this position where it wants to go out it wants to explore it wants to see it wants to experience it wants to connect it wants to make friends it wants to do all of these things thanks Evie she said your pants and your top are so cute girl ain't it though like for real <laughs> just kidding I really I saw this out and I was like yes but um, yeah, so the sun wants to go out and do all of these things. The energy is there. The sun sitting in the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is larger than life, over the top, wants to have a good time, wants to get involved. Even myself, I've been feeling that. I've been way more active last week than I usually am. But at the same time, I've been like really just kind of drifting. You're prone to attack. You're prone to get... Um, attacked by you know if you live in the city or if you're not in a safe spot follow your intuition there's this energy right now of especially my girls um, of just being very vulnerable and we don't even realize it so just listen to your intuition listen to your gut it's very important this week and this weekend that passed even though the weekend that just passed is gone said and done now but just that you reconnect and you ground yourself and I kept saying this to everyone like you know, listen to your intuition, but before you do that, ground yourself before you even dive into this intuitive study. And I know that sounds counterintuitive because so much of us are intuitive and it's like we have gifts and stuff like that. But when I'm looking at this energy, it almost kind of drifts off like a little balloon. And it's really important that you ground. In fact, I spent more, more days in my bath, like soaking in my bathtub just to help me ground myself so that I don't lift off and drift off because I could see and I could feel the influence on me and I can honestly say that if it wasn't for that, I probably would have made all types of weird decisions. I probably would have been very emotionally reactive. Um, I still felt really emotional last week. It was just a part of you know what everything was going on through my head, but there are things that we can't control. The other thing that I was walking down the street seeing this, and my mom, cover your ears, earmuffs mom, but I was walking down the street, I was like leaving to go meet up with a friend and I, well, I was with a group and it shows you like you never really know, you know, what's going to happen, what can happen. It doesn't matter who you're with or what is going on, but I was, uh, there was a group of people and I was walking down the street and this guy crossed my path and I, as soon as I saw him, I was like, I'm going to have an issue. Like I can already feel it. And it looked like he was on drugs or maybe like, you know, high on something or maybe an alcoholic or something, but... I just walked by and I literally was walking by a crowd of people outside of this bar and he wasn't a part of that bar and he legit you know grabbed my shoulder and like grabbed my shoulder and like shook my shoulder <laughs> and I was like what the like what the heck and then he just like walked behind me and it was just the weirdest encounter but it just again shows you like Please be on guard, always protect yourself, always set intention before you leave the house, before you do anything, when you go out with your friends. People think that attacks happen when you're alone. Um, they can happen when you're with groups, they can happen when you're you know, a, a friend. Most um, issues of assault or any type of um, violence happen with people that you know. So girls, please listen to your intuition, follow your intuition. If something doesn't feel right, make sure that you have a tool or a resource in order to defend yourself. On the flip side, when it comes to alcohol, drugs, those types of things, it's too, damn it, I keep doing that. When it comes to drugs and alcohol, it's too much under the influence right now where what would seem like a normal boundary for you or what seems like a normal threshold for you, a normal limit might be a little lower. Our sensitivities are a little higher, so it's illnesses, Okay, Evie says, when I get into my car or leave the house, I always say I intend to be safe out loud. Exactly. So just even something small like that. 
So Janato Janato thirty says, "Man, it's so crazy that you said this. Why? Tell me what happened." Okay, Adele's ex says, "This is so true. This happened to me last week. I was so close to getting punched by a grown ass man." Yes, she said, "I'm glad there are people." You see what I'm saying? Like people are not in their right minds. Um, Lolo Schaefer says, father of my younger two just came back into my life after a year of him being gone. He just threatened to kill me today via Facebook Messenger. He was drunk. Of course. People are not in their right mind. Just, you know what? Say, set intention. Astria W8 says, always drink at home. It doesn't matter where you drink. The influence is still there, babe. Doesn't matter where. If that happens one more time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I keep kicking it down. Damn it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, like, chilling. Um, serotonin. I love your name, serotonin. Every time you, you leave a message, it always uh, sticks out to me because I'm a psych major. Um, psych major jokes. But, okay, she goes, my ex-boyfriend is stalking me right now. Do you have a protection spell? Um, I could put something up for that on my YouTube channel. But for in the, mo in the meantime, definitely carry. Um, a, for me, personally, I like to do quartz and charge the quartz for protection. Um, hematite is also, it's pretty grounding, but it's also really, pro uh, protecting, <laughs> excuse me, amethyst will help to kind of like neutralize, uh, energy, but I always charge things, oils I use to charge, um, and to protect myself. I haven't had anything bad happen to me yet, knock on wood. I haven't had anything bad happen to me at all, but, and I'm 31 years old, I'm five feet, 100 pounds, um, but I'm also a pit bull, so, and I'm not, I don't walk around... I don't walk around um, without being prepared. I'll say that. So I, I'm not, not covering myself energetically, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally when I go out. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I just got a notification. All right, so that being said, there's that. So we have illnesses. You really want to be careful and mindful. The other thing is, <laughs> the other thing is um, the sun square Mars. Again, creates this like friction and tension. Mars is currently sitting in the sign of Pisces. We'll talk about that. But when Mars and the sun square, sun is moving away from Mars, but the influence is still there. This is just people that are irritated and agitated. And where are they going? They're going out. Why? Because sun is moving to the sign of uh, uh, Sagittarius. So it's more sociable. It's more... Um, you know, engaged, it's more connecting with the masses, it's very much trying to talk to people, trying to connect with people, so, and if there's irritability, this is when someone said, again, um, A. Jimani says illnesses like anemia, absolutely, yep, she said, I was just diagnosed with anemia, absolutely, it's things that, like, it's hard to put your finger on, but when you do, if it's, like, maybe it's an, um, a nutritional imbalance, if you're able to, it's, like, one of those things that you're, like, you know, and like you, your whole body feels weird or your body feels different. You can't quite put your hand, finger on what, like what it is. And then when you do, it's something that in, impacts the whole. It makes you feel foggy. It makes you feel weird. It could be depression. Sometimes depression is not always, you know, a person feeling sad or lonely or, you know, you know, crying or anything like that. Sometimes depression can reveal itself in just like numbness not feeling anything and just thinking that that's normal and you get so used to it. Sometimes depression is agitation. Like, why am I so agitated? Why am I so irritated? And you don't realize that, you know, depression doesn't always look like one thing. It's not always, you know, you can't get out of bed. And then also depression, maybe you have like low lingering or highly functioning depression. This is just an example. And you just kind of get used to it. You're just accustomed to it, but you just, you know, you don't realize that you do have this level, like this imbalance, so you, and you become accustomed to it, so you're just so used to sleeping a lot, or being drained, or whatever it is, the doctors can't put their finger on it, but these types of things, they impact all aspects of you, and you would never know, so that's what it is that I'm seeing within the chart, last week someone said, you know, I have an infection, a sinus infection, that's another thing that you can see here, um, and it's just like, you know what, go to the doctor, because you don't know if it is a sinus infection, or maybe it's something more, all right, so yeah, headaches too, that's another thing that you can get, all types of weird ailments. The other thing too is that um, Saturn and Pluto are moving to the sign of Capricorn, so if there is a time to go ahead and fix these issues, it's now is the time. 
If you have to do therapy, if you have to go to the doctor, if you have to take care of your teeth, these planets are connected to dental and bone. So if you, you know, whatever it is that you have to do in order to make sure that the body is strong is what you should do. Take practices into place that are helping you to be a healthier, stronger, more vibrant you because if you are weak, if you're anxious, if you are whatever, you're gonna be no good to no one, but definitely not for yourself, okay? And it takes away from your quality of life. You should be feeling good. Um, Ash Falkner says, my anxiety has been off the chart. Girl, I hear you. Um, give me a hands up if you guys are feeling tired, depression, low energy, feeling lost. Give me some hearts if you've been feeling that, or give me a hand up, or just a red heart to let me know. I just wanna see what it is that we're working with because I'm seeing it written in the chart. So um, I'll wait for you guys to do that. Meanwhile, I'll continue. Okay, B, B Porter Girl, Vaughn Kitten. Okay, Danica's Grande. Yes, yeah, Sweet Sting. Okay, yeah. So KM is that Isa, the Hibiscus Owl. I love your name. Hands up, Lily G White. Okay, there's a lot of people. Sway B, House of Goddess. Yeah, Siobhan Meredith. Like why? Why? Oh, I know. Where is it coming from? Like, I just want to pull everyone's chart and just fix it. I just want to fucking fix it. I'm a Virgo. I'm a Virgo sun, Virgo moon, cancer rising. All I want to do is fix everyone's problems. That's all I want to do. I'm sorry, you guys. Sending you all of my love. I know, babes. I know, I know, I know. <sighs> Rochelle Rodney says, affirmations are helping me with my low mood. I hear you, babe. Oh, God. Dana Michelle says, I cannot get it together. You and me both. Love, lust, that sin. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Yeah. <laughs> Jelena says, not me, girl. I've been feeling great. <laughs> Good for you. Jelena, what's your, um, what's your rising sign and what's your sun sign? Yeah, yeah, everyone's okay, tired. <laughs> Besides Jelena, Jelena's good. She's fine. <laughs> Attack her. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Vaughn Kitten says, I wish you could. The Capricorn is so not myself. I know, babe. It's just tough. It's just this year right now. It's this year. Sun Child the Love Witch says, yeah, I've been feeling great. What's your sun and your rising sign, babe? Let me know. Who's this sending me messages or liking my stuff on Twitter? Miss Pris says, I've been feeling so good, too. What is your... Damn it. That's tough. Just saw a heart failure. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, I've been great. Aries sun. Well, that's why. You're in Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> you guys are relentless. Just be careful. Just be careful that over exuberance doesn't get you. Just as your astrologer. <laughs> Can you guys see what kind of parent I'm gonna be? Like, go have fun, but be careful. Mm-hmm, that's what it is. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Aqu Aquarius sun. Virgo rising. Really? Huh. All right, that's interesting. I'm not going to pull your chart. I want to, but I'm not going to pull your chart. I've been feeling, K Kayla, like Pan says, I've been feeling less depressed recently, actually. Also an Aries sun. See my Aries people? See my Aries people? You guys are insane. Yep, Cancer sun, Aquarius rising, so Aquarius, yep. Cancer, okay, wait, I read that one already. Sun Aquarius rising, Sun Aquarius rising Scorpio, so depressed. Scorpio's getting hit right now, though. Mystic Steak says, I feel awesome, decided not to take antidepressants. Be careful with that, talk to your doctor. Okay, cool. If you guys are putting your sun signs in there and your rising sign, oh, God. Little Bit Flower says, my husband started drinking after four years. Fuck, yep, I could see it in the chart. I could see it in the chart. It's so tough. You just be strong, be strong. Yeah, be strong. It's tough. This week is tough. This year is tough. And then you have these influences, and it's just like the irritation sometimes gets to be too much. And then Mars has just been drifting through Pisces, and it makes people like, just like kind of, what is the easy way out sometimes? Like, what is my vice? Like, what is my weakness? That's what I need. You know what I mean? Like that's what that, that Mars moving through Pisces. It's like, I just need to get out of reality. I need to disconnect. Some people, they don't even realize it. They don't even realize it. Mom, are you still here? How are you feeling? Oh no. Zer Zerka Vava K says, Jess, my spirit, <laughs> animal's so serious. 
Yes, rising. Most hated D hated XOX says, "What is rising? Rising is what is on the horizon the moment that you were born." Mom, I feel like you're either in bed or washing the dishes. How have you been feeling, Mama? Not to put you on blast, but or maybe we could talk later if you don't want to. Just put a heart if you don't want to say. <laughs> Tired twenty four says, "I'm feeling like a victim." Mm-hmm. Oh, Yogi, Yogi Undefined says it was hard to get up today. I hear you, babe. Just one step at a time. Margaritas and Mischief says, when will this end? Girl, seriously, golden star. So I'm really glad that you asked that because we just need to finish up this year. I don't want to promise, sorry, I was listening to the dog. Um, I don't want to promise that December because the new, the full moon around the 22nd is not negative but it actually has a lot going for it, but I still am watching the energy of this week. I feel like a lot of the things that are kind of pushing back last week and what we're going through is going to get revealed. Mark my words. Literally, follow me on Twitter because I've been putting a lot of predictions on Twitter because you really can't erase, I mean, I guess you technically you can, but you can see exactly when I said it, the time that I said it, you can't take away those timestamps. So you people can't be like, oh, Jess, of course you say it now in hindsight. No, Twitter, I clearly say it. Like I clearly, I don't delete anything. So um, anyways, I what, the, what I've been mentioning and what I've been saying on my Twitter um, like even like Cardi B, like these things that it is that I'm talking about, they'll reveal themselves later on during the full moon. And it, the full moon is on the 22nd, I think. It's either the 22nd or 23rd, but I can't remember. But I'm watching this week, I just feel like whatever was going in place last week, and even now as I say this, you guys, I want you guys to feel me on this. Like in my own life, I feel this I resonate with it I just feel like what's going on last week what's going on this week is going to surface in some way around the 22nd and wait hold on because someone's my mom says I'm peeling a tangerine <laughs> I love her so much okay wait someone said so I feel like someone said Jess can you be more specific the reason why Go ahead and challenge me. I want everyone to challenge me because not only does it show you guys that I'm the real freaking deal, but I challenge myself all the time. But anyways, it just helps me to really put myself out there. If I say this and I believe in this, then I better be able to clearly make my predictions. What the shit was I talking about? What was I saying? Oh, but when I say be more specific, the reason why I can't is because so much of this is cloudy. It's behind a veil. And I'm not, I'm not saying this because like, oh, you know, I don't know, like, you know, just like be more specific about it and like, oh, I'm going to say a veil and then that's going to be enough. No, we're working with Pisces energy and then anytime when you're working with Uranus, the planet Uranus, all astrologers, it's literally impossible. Oh, my best friend just messaged me. I love him. I'm going to text him later. John, if you're watching, I love you and I miss you. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Oh, you literally can't predict the energy of Uranus and you can't, can't really truly predict Pisces, the energy of Pisces, um, the energy of Pisces. So Neptune really is what it is that I'm saying. And that's what we're dealing with. So um, the thing is, is that when, the, when Mars is moving through Pisces in the way that it has and everything is just like under the radar, you may have people, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just got a question. Um, just, just Steffi says, just so is this purging feeling? Is it normal? It is, but just be careful. Tired 24 says Mark's 22nd in the calendar. Absolutely. You guys, you should put a little star next to it. If it's not the days before that, like two days before that, the 22nd, two days after that, what's going on this mark my words. That's why I say journal. If you feel something weird, if you feel like something is off, if someone says something to you and you're like, that just doesn't feel right. Like that just doesn't resonate as truth. Well, I don't know why they would lie about it. Don't say anything. Wait until the 22nd, wait until the 23rd, the 24th, the 21st, the 20th, because I guarantee you that's when it'll be revealed. There are some things now, I've got my mouth sealed. I'm not saying anything. I talk to my friends, but I'm not saying anything because the 22nd, watch. 
So, I mean, we'll see what happens. And then starting in January, we have another, uh, the first, the new moon in January is when I see the ice kind of breaking. And I see that being the 7th or the 8th of January or the 6th. I can't remember if the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, or the 9th of January is when I see like the crack in the ice and it, then it feels like a fresh start. But up until that point, someone said is purging during this time, is this necessary? Um, is this normal? Absolutely. If you feel called to purge, to release, do it. Um, I've been, you know, I've been having some like pent up emotion and stuff in my own personal life. I was watching 12 Years a Slave, started crying, like bawling my eyes out. But it's just a way of releasing. It's a way of releasing emotion. I wasn't expecting to, to watch that, by the way, but I ended up watching it and ended up loving it. Journaling is another thing too in order to get this energy out. There's so much irritability, there's so much friction, there's so much tension that's kind of like rubbing together. It's like two little tectonic plates. I'm actually surprised that we don't have, if Uranus was direct right now, we would probably have an issue. Because what I'm seeing, even globally, because if this was, uh, if this was, if Uranus was sitting in the sign of Taurus, we and Uranus was direct, we would totally 100% be having earthquakes. We had it. I predicted it last year when, or early this year, and I said Earth, the Earth was going to shift, the Earth was going to change, but we're feeling it right now on an energetic level, and we're lucky. But right now, it's almost coming in politics. It's almost coming in. I almost see the 22nd with politics, especially in the United States. Oh my God. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. It's bomb, not bombs, but it's fire, it's bombs, it's rebelli rebelling, it's younger people, it's acting out. And the reason why this is is because Uranus is moving through Aries. Aries is a sign of the warrior. It's a sign of I'm going to attack, I'm going to assert, I'm going to be the leader. I'm gonna, th this is something I'm called to do. And it's younger people because Uranus is connected to the energy of young and young and youth. And actually now that I'm saying this, this makes a lot of sense because the, the um, escalating violence that's been happening in Paris right now, it's led by the younger generation, which I'm proud of. I mean, I don't like violence, but I'm proud of the fact that they're asserting themselves and putting their, the other thing too is our government. Our government is going to get the smackdown. It should be interesting to see how this turns out, but it's, it's controversy, it's things getting revealed. I'm looking at the chart right now. It's controversy, it's things getting revealed, it's things that are secret, sneaky, like sneaky. Is there more? Are you fucking kidding me? Like how could there be more? There's going to be more. Our government is being challenged so hard, all this pressure is getting pushed on our government, at least in the US, but we're also gonna be feeling this globally. Because what affects the one affects the other. This is because Saturn's moving through the sign of Capricorn, testing our government, testing our structure, our stability. What are our rules? Challenging them and revealing them, things getting hidden, things that were hidden coming up to the surface and then it being explosive. All around the new moon, the 22nd, mark my words, the 22nd. Ultimately, I think that everything that's happening while looking at the chart, I hate to derail, but this is where I'm going right now. Ultimately, everything that's happening, information that we get during this time is I don't feel like it's going to be easy. Mercury's moving through the sign of Scorpio. Thinks secrets are getting kind of uncovered. Truth, conversations that need to be had. Difficult ones. Why? Because Chiron is moving through the sign of Pisces. Pisces is like, I'm vulnerable. I'm so vulnerable. Mercury, what are you going to tell me? This is very intense. Yeah, it's faded too. It's faded. Because Mercury, moving through the sign of Scorpio, wants to get to the nitty gritty of it. Wants to find out, to discover what's the secret. What are you holding back? How are you feeling? Let's have a conversation. What is the truth? What is the actual truth? Don't hide from me the truth. Chiron, it, so Mercury's sitting at 28 degrees in the sign of Scorpio, which is not a good placement. Just, you know, the tough placement for Mercury to be in, or any planet to be in, by the way, the late degrees of Scorpio, but is aspecting Chiron, the wounded healer, at 27 degrees in Pisces. Then the North Node, sitting in the sign of Capricorn, I'm sorry, sitting in the sign of Cancer, very vulnerable. It's an interesting emotions, what it is that we have right now. Oh, Mystic, Sake, Mystic Sake says, I wanna cry every day because I feel so open, girl. Tamitha Ray says, um, wait, time out. I drew cards not long ago, and I swear people are keeping secrets at my job. They probably are. Um, Beth Mail App says, Jess, it's my graduation day. Today, babe, is it going to be a good day? With, when's your graduation day? Let me know, Beth. When is it? And what is your, oh, wait, she said it already. 
Is that Virgo or Scorpio? I can't see the screen's moving so fast. It looks like Virgo. Okay. Yeah, let me know um, when your graduation is today. You're graduating today. Um, Edelon's Kingdom says, it sounds so stressful. Look, as long as you coast, and not coast, but just pull back and ground yourself. It's the same thing that I said last. Of course, the Lavender Code said, can you do a video on the nodes, Chiron and Midhaven? I would love to. Absolutely. Chiron. Actually, I have a video on Chiron already up on my channel. You have to search it though. It, this is throwback. That's when I was working for my company. Well, not my company. I was working for a company in Philadelphia and I remember like I had to go to a meeting and I was like, nope, stop. I got an intuitive download. So I ran to one of the meeting rooms that was private. I locked it. And I just chant like I just started talking about Chiron. I felt so called to talk about Chiron. So that's on my YouTube channel. Mm, part of Fortune. We'll talk about that too. Um, can I also just say I love you guys? <laughs> I love that we're able to talk about this. I was thinking about that earlier today. Like if I wasn't doing Bahati Life and I wasn't talking about astrology, you know what I would be doing? I would be sitting somewhere. I don't know, I'd probably like set up a booth or something at some coffee shop or somewhere and just be like, I'll read your chart for free, <laughs> please. I just need to talk to someone about astrology. I love astrology, this is my life. Um, someone's calling me out on being, um, oh no you're not, the internet's choppy. I bet it is. But yeah, I love you guys, thank you so much for being a part of this group. Um, I will tweet about my predictions for our government after this, and you guys will get timestamps. Donald Trump right now, it just doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. I almost feel like there's some things that it's like they're putting out fires in the Oval Office or something that we don't, haven't even heard about, or maybe there's something else that's about to get revealed. It should be really interesting. I personally don't like to watch the news. I listen to it in the morning. I say, hey, Google. If I say, hey, Google right now, she's going to listen to me, but... Um, Oh my gosh, she heard. It's crazy. It's crazy how much they can hear. But, um, yeah, I'll do, um, I'll ask Google. I have to, like, whisper so she can't hear me. But I'll ask in the morning um, what the news is going on. I listen to it on, a like, a light scale, but just to, to keep me informed. But aside from that, I won't. <sighs> All right. Lauren Linnae says, how's the Urban Encyclopedia going? It's going really slow because I started working on the um, Sacred Circle Tarot School and my current students and we had the shop update and I'm working on this. Um, I actually have some herbs sitting right there that I wanna unpack that I'm gonna be putting up on my, sharing with you guys in my IG story, so. Fairy Dreaming says, it's fake news anyway. Not all of it. Some things are really leaking out. And the crazy thing too is that it's not all of what you seem. It's like these small stuff, these like small little fires that are going off. Red Hill Photo says all the politicians are so shady. Hell yeah, they, they hell yeah they are. They all have agendas. Are you kidding me? So many agendas. All right, my loves. Um, but moving back, so when it comes to grounding, um, what I'm seeing, so Mars and Neptune together in the sign of Pisces, it just creates this need, this energy to ground and to center yourself and really set the intention for it. And it almost seems like the harder it is, the more it's needed. For some people, it's prayer. I was talking to my sister yesterday and she was just like, it seems like it's so hard. She's in church, she goes to a church group in a Christian church and she's just listening to people within that church group saying like it just feels so hard to connect to God lately I just feel like we're in this alone and it's again it's the influence influence of these planets that are just like calling out and what as above so below so we'll feel it going on you know it's going on in the cosmos we feel it down here and it's this need to kind of test our our faith and to test our belief systems and what is real what is actually real so it's, it's not a bad thing to ask these things because the more that you ask, the more that you get these answers. So I love that my sister was doing that and even being, we were able to connect with each other and talk about it on that level because, 
you know, I can see it going on in the chart. So it just adds further confirmation. I actually just posted a lot of um, home videos of us, home videos, so Snapchat videos that I found, and I post them on my uh, personal page. So if you want to go ahead and follow me, you can feel free to do that. My personal page is Jessica X Alexandria. So X as in treasure found here. All right. The other thing is, um, so modern Gnostic says, wow, I feel this so much, feeling physically, psychically alone lately. It's okay. It's okay. It, so let me talk to you guys about this too. Um, so I, this morning, earlier today, the, the wolf came through. The animal totem, the wolf. And I was so shocked, and I talked about this on my IGTV, because I, for the longest time, I was not comfortable with the image of the wolf. I just thought it was so cheesy, and like, of course, people love the wolf because of how they look. But when I sat with it, and I'm not going to go into full detail about it because I have it up on my IGTV. If you guys don't have the app, then I'm more than happy to put it up for you on my YouTube channel. Just let me know if you guys need it on the YouTube channel. Snails, Snail says, random, but your outfit is so cute. Thank you, babe. So, um, but the wolf... So you guys are saying a lot of times, you know, that, or lately, I've been feeling so lost, I've been feeling so disconnected. And whether that be disconnected from God, whether that be disconnected from others, whether it be disconnected from yourself, it makes a lot of sense because the wolf is so connected, but it's also very independent. The wolf is very loyal, but it also has a lot of freedom. The wolf is controlled in some ways and has this power, but at the same time, it's wild. The wolf is fierce, but it's also gentle and known for being so sweet and so nurturing to its cubs and to its family. And it has this pack mentality, but at the same time, it goes off and it does its thing. And then also it's ruled, not ruled, but it's under the influence of the moon. When the full moon, when the moon is full, the wolf goes out and seeks and howls at the moon because it can't hold back its natural instinct. It can't hold back its natural impulses. Now, what I'm seeing, how I'm going to tie this into astrology right now, is Mercury. Mercury rules our mind, our communication, how we express ourselves, what we're thinking about, what we're talking about. Mercury is moving through the sign of Scorpio, one of the most intense signs within the entire zodiac. Because Scorpio is connected to regeneration, death, transformation, truth, honesty, authenticity. And the darker sides, the shadow sides... Intimacy, did I say that already? Possession, obsession, it's connected to all of those things. Death, rebirth, orgasm, sex, all of those things. Scorpio is connected to the genitalia. <sighs> also, letting go. Why? What happens when you let go? That's when you have an orgasm. What happens when you let go is when you, it's when you poop. <laughs> Remember that chat that we that we had talking about um, the energy of Scorpio, which is about letting go and like the release and what that looks like and the metaphor of that. And people were like, "What the hell is she talking about?" But then you're like, "Oh my god, I get it!" And you learn so much about astrology in that moment. And then I was like, "I need to teach astrology for free on my YouTube channel." Yeah, throwbacks to that. But that's what it is that we're dealing with with Mercury, with Mercury moving through the sign of Scorpio. And really what it is that we're having here, as Mercury moves to the sign of Scorpio, it's this impulse, it's this instinct, it's this, I'm seeking, I'm looking, I'm striving, I'm, I'm going to sink my teeth in it. What is it? I want it. I possess it. I own it. Who are you? What is your soul? Let me show you my soul. Where are you at? Like, it wants to go. It wants to find. I want to release. I want to let go. I want to connect. You're it. You're the one. I want to connect with you. This is where my mind is at. Try and tell me no. So it's very like much on the prowl and then it moves into the space of expansion, exploration, connection. And as Mercury moves back into the sign of Sagittarius. Now Mercury was retrograde for just only recently went direct on the 6th. It's not too long ago. So it's building its power power up. Not only that, but he's retracing his steps. And he's moving from Scorpio, now he's in Scorpio, back into the sign of Sagittarius. Now when it comes back to that wolf energy, there's this balance and this um, emphasis on protecting yourself and, and making sure that what you are committed to, what you have tied yourself to, or what you're loyal to, is worthy of that level of you. And at the same time, it's what is it that you're responsible for? 
What is it that you need to protect, including yourself, and making sure that you are protecting that and that you are guarding that? Because Scorpio and the wolf energy together speak of, you know what, like this is energy that doesn't need to get wasted. I'm more prone to, re to remove it, to cut it out, than I am to carry it with me and it not serve a purpose. Um, the other thing is that Scorpio is very private and it shares with it only what is exclusive to it, and that's family. That's what is what feels like family to you, what feels like, you know, belongs to you. What are you devoted to? What are you protecting? What are your instincts? Where is your loyalty? At the same time, not allowing that loyalty and that commitment, that devotion to strangle your need for independence and your need to live your life the way that you're going to live your life and following your instincts and then not reacting you know when you're when you're provoked not reacting on that emotionally all right so wait bonnie bonnie's um, bonnie sue bless says i feel like i'm rushing myself constantly lately i can pause i can't pause and take care of myself but it feels off what i don't care i can't i don't understand you hold on hold on um, the Lavender, Lauren Lene says the internet is hating on us, Jess. I bet. Carmel Kisses says, Jess, the video is skipping. I bet. The glitch. Okay, hold on. Let me see what I could do here. Probably nothing. Oh, look, I can leave a comment. I did not know that I could do that. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on a second. Um, yeah, you guys are just going to have to deal with it. Um... My mom says, you can't just randomly take womb herbs. You got to match your constitution. But gener gen generally speaking, cinnamon, nutmeg, chase tree berry, cardamom. I just had cardamom today. Garlic and turmeric can help. Also, no dairy, sugar, cold temperature, energy food. So no cold food, no cold energy food. Yeah, my mom's good at that. When my mom says to me, she's like, Jess, when you're ready to get pregnant, come to me and we'll work together. Ashley is saying the internet keeps cutting up, multiple people complaining. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Love you, Ash. Thank you so much for watching, girl. <laughs> Text you right now. Um, yeah. Um... The other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is, I don't know why this is, but it's family, it's home, it's your sense of security. Um, can I pin my mom's, let me pin, because everyone's asking, wait, 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 what is it? You have to scroll up. Mommy, if you want to say it again, here, let me see if I can pin it. Got it. I just pinned it so you guys can see my mom's um, note for taking care of your womb and stuff like that. Also, you know, she 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 works from just FYI. She's phenomenal, but and I'm not saying that because it's my mom, but she works based out of St. Pete and Tampa um, ish area, so that general area, which is pretty wide um, and global, globally. But um, she takes clients. She's very exclusive with taking her clients. But maybe she'll answer questions if she's feeling up to answering questions. Maybe we can do a live with my mom about, um, you know, herbalism or not herbalism, but, um, you know, Chinese medicine, acupuncture, stuff like that. Um, Excellent, excellent, exhalation says I work for Lucifer, but yeah, good to know. Um, Essie Wu says, why no dairy? That's a question that you should ask for my mom, but it's apparently dairy, I think, from what I've understood, creates phlegm in the body, and phlegm is not good for creating fertile circumstances and environments for the womb. Am I right, mom, on that? Um... <laughs> Fairy Dreaming says, because Nola is woke and Atlanta can't leave the Matrix. Yo, I don't live, I can't live in Atlanta. I just can't. Um, 
Bond Girl 206 says, Jess, I'm looking into a new home. Is this the ideal time? Absolutely. It really is. Keep an open mind. Don't settle for any don't settle for anything less than what it is that you want. Especially now that Mercury's gone direct. Now's the time to start looking for different things. The other thing is you might if you're working with a consultant, they might have a difficult time finding the right thing for you or kind of finding the right home for you. Yeah, I would love to go live with my mom. Actually, mommy, we should do that. Well, I'll call you later, mom, so we could talk about it. Baba T164 says, I lost my wife. How can you help? Why did you lose her? Ooh, mommy says, acupuncture for your health says, let's plan a me, mom, in the moon chat. That's actually perfect. Okay, thank you, McDowell. Kathy says, um, what about family and home? Thank you. Thank you for keeping me right on target, right on point. So this is what I'm thinking about with family, home, loyalty, security. So right now, the North Node, I hear you guys. Yeah, we'll do a Jess and Mom chat. We should do it. We'll, we'll talk. My mom and I will talk. But right now, the North Node is moving through the sign of cancer. Ah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Synchronicity. Speaking of home and family and security and upbringing and the fourth house, my mom. We're talking about my mom right now, but I'm sorry. So what I'm seeing when I'm looking at this chart is the north node falling in the sign of cancer and this energy of what's faded. <laughs> How funny. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, the universe is funny. But okay, so the north node falling in the sign of cancer and... Um, simple Melissa says, I'm coming in at the end. Will this be posted later? Yes, it will. Yeah. My mom says, yes, the dairy pr produces phlegms, which clumps up the energy. You want to produce the warm womb. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what's happening is... Sorry, give me a minute. Oh, and the part of fortune. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting all these notifications on my phone. Thank you for everyone who's watching, including my family and my friends who are texting me right now. Um, what's happening is, is I'm seeing that out of these circumstances, these tough circumstances when it comes to creating a family, f creating a foundation for yourself, stability for yourself, security for yourself, that includes finances, creating roots for yourself, what makes the home a home? What makes you feel like you're home? What makes you feel safe? Sometimes that's a person. Sometimes it's an actual environment. Does your home environment, does it make you feel safe? Do you feel secure? What's missing from that? That's root chakra. That's your upbringing. Your childhood memories. These are things that are going to get tr uh, triggered and ignited during this week. And that you're fated to talk about. You're fated to discuss. Especially tomorrow, tonight, Wednesday. Oh, I have two minutes left. I'll talk about it in my, ast my uh, not Astro Live chat, but on my YouTube channel. Um, so family, how does your family support you? Are they supportive of enough, enough of you? What Creating your own family, creating your own backbone. If you don't have that, finding resources, being able to heal the issues of the past, the memories of the past, so that you're able to act strongly for yourself versus feel weak and isolated or abandoned or you know, get in, influenced, manipulated, taken advantage of, all of these things. Magical Goddess says, tomorrow's my birthday. Happy birthday, babe. Um, yeah, so um, Saturn right now is challenging that, sitting opposite of it um, in the sign of Capricorn. It's really kind of questioning the bones of how you grew up and the bones of what it is that you believe and um, what creates a firm foundation for you, security for you. So these are things, too, that I want you guys to pay attention to this week. Um, again, I'm about to get kicked off. You know, we have 50, 50 something minutes left over. So, I'm sorry, 50 seconds, 48 seconds. So, I'm going to film for you guys later on this week. I'm going to put a Q&A up on my YouTube, I'm sorry, on my IG story. So, make sure that you're, 
you know, check that as soon as I'm done here and I'm gonna go ahead and answer those questions for you. Maybe I'll even do it tonight. I'll have it uploaded as soon as I can, especially now that my internet is better. I'm going to film this week ahead and post that up on my YouTube channel. And again, the Sacred Circle Tarot School is now open. Enrollment is open, in, open and I will be sending out emails for that next week or late this week. So keep an eye out if you've already enrolled. Yes, we received it. And um, just be patient with us, okay? Because there's so much going on and it's not all that it seems. There's a lot going on below, behind the surface, but it's all good. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.